Hello students. In today's video, we are going to study pharmacology of uh, eicosanoids, specifically prostaglandins, then thromboxane, prostacyclin and leukotrienes. Now this video is sixth in the series of videos on autoquoids. Now let's first understand what are eicosanoids. Eicosa is a Greek word and eicosa means 20. Now, eicosanoids are a group of local hormones that are derived from 20-carbon polyunsaturated fatty acid. Now, this 20-carbon fatty acid here is the uh, arachidonic acid from which eicosanoids are derived. Now, these eicosanoids include prostaglandins abbreviated as PG, then thromboxane abbreviated as TXA2, prostacyclin abbreviated as PGI2 and leukotrienes abbreviated as LT. Now all these eicosanoids are autoquoids. Now autoquoids we know are the local hormones. These are the ones that are synthesized locally. Now all these uh, eicosanoids are derived from arachidonic acid. Now this arachidonic acid is in turn derived from the cell membrane phospholipids. Now we know that every cell in the body has a cell membrane. And cell membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer. So, eicosanoids are obtained from lipids. And thus, all these eicosanoids are lipid-derived autoquoids. Now, prostaglandins are so named because in 1930, they were for the first time isolated from seminal fluid produced from the prostate gland. So, since prostaglandins were isolated from the prostate gland, they were termed as prostaglandins. Now, leukotrienes are so named as a term leuco refers to leukocytes, that is the WBCs, white blood cells, and trienes refers to three conjugated double bonds. So, leukotrienes were so named as they were first derived from leukocytes and their structure consists of three conjugated double bonds. Now, most prostaglandins, thromboxane, uh, then prostacyclin, leukotrienes have half-life of few seconds to few minutes. So, eicosanoids have a very short duration of action. Now, look at this figure. Eicosanoids are not found stored in the body tissues and they are synthesized locally. As we have already discussed, these are synthesized from 20-carbon fatty acid, that is arachidonic acid. Now, certain chemicals and mechanical stimuli activate the enzyme phospholipase A2. Now, this phospholipase A2 hydrolyzes or breaks cell membrane phospholipids to release arachidonic acid. So, arachidonic acid is released from the cell membrane. Now, this arachidonic acid produces eicosanoids by two pathways. The first pathway is the cyclooxygenase pathway or the COX pathway and the second pathway is the lipooxygenase pathway or the LOX pathway. Now, uh, cyclooxygenase pathway or the COX pathway generates eicosanoids with a ring structure. Now, prostaglandins, then uh, thromboxane A2, prostacyclin, these are all derived by the COX pathway. While lipooxygenase pathway produces leukotrienes and these leukotrienes are open chain compounds. Now, cyclooxygenase pathway is mediated by the enzyme cyclooxygenase, abbreviated as COX, primarily COX1 and COX2. Now, enzyme cyclooxygenase generates cyclic endoperoxides, namely PGG2 and PGH2. Now, both PGG2 and PGH2 are highly unstable and the enzyme isomerases converts PGH2 into isomers namely prostaglandin E2, prostaglandin D2 and prostaglandin F2 alpha. Now, synthesis of these isomers depends upon the type of isomerase enzyme and the tissue. Now, PGE2 and PGF2 alpha are the primary prostaglandins. Now, these prostaglandins are primarily synthesized in the lungs and the spleen. Now, some important functions of these prostaglandin isomers. Prostaglandin E2 is a mediator of pain. It is a mediator of uh, inflammatory response. It is also pyrogenic. That means it, it, it uh, produces fever. Uh, it decreases production of uh, gastric acid in the stomach and increases the mucus production. So, it uh, uh, 
shows anti ulcer properties now prostaglandin a2 induces uterine contractions it increases renal blood flow by causing uh, renal vasodilation now apart from this as already discussed it has been found in the semen in the semen it is responsible for increasing the motility of sperms now prostaglandin f2 it is a vasoconstrictor it constricts larger blood vessels like pulmonary arteries and the veins now in addition to this it causes uterine contraction and bronchoconstriction now prostaglandin d2 is a vasodilator and it is also a potent bronchoconstrictor now thromboxane a2 is primarily synthesized in the platelets it is uh, highly unstable and it spontaneously changes to thromboxane b2 now thromboxane a2 increases platelet aggregation and it also causes vasoconstriction now prostacyclin that is pgi2 is mainly synthesized by endothelium of the blood vessels it is also chemically unstable and it also rapidly gets converted to 6 keto prostaglandin f1 alpha now contrary to the function functions of thromboxane a2 prostacyclin produces vasodilation and it inhibits platelet aggregation enzyme cyclooxygenase exists in three isoforms cox1 cox2 and cox3 now exact role of cyclooxygenase 3 or cox3 in humans is not known now very important to remember that cox1 cyclooxygenase 1 is a constitutive enzyme it is present in most of the tissues of our body in gastrointestinal tract uh, this cox1 mediates synthesis of prostaglandins that protect the epithelial lining of stomach and intestine from the corrosive effect of gastric juice now this cox1 is also involved in regulating the functions of kidney and it also regulates platelet blood clotting function so uh, cox1 produces prostaglandins that regulate normal functioning of the body and therefore cox1 is termed as a constitutive enzyme now cyclooxygenase 2 or cox2 is primarily found at the site of inflammation it leads to inflammatory and pathological changes now cox2 produces prostaglandins that contribute to pain fever and inflammation however in brain cox2 is found to be neuroprotective it protects the neurons now non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs inhibit the enzyme cyclooxygenase and they reduce synthesis of prostaglandins causing pain fever and inflammation now after cyclooxygenase pathway let's uh, discuss the lipooxygenase pathway lipooxygenase pathway is mediated by the enzyme lipooxygenase and the enzyme lipooxygenase produces leukotrienes now leukotriene b4 is synthesized in wbc specifically neutrophils now leukotriene b4 attracts immune cells at the site of inflammation now this further enhances the process of inflammation and therefore leukotriene b4 are termed as potent chemo tactics now cystinyl leukotrienes namely ltc4 and ltd4 these are produced during the anaphylactic reaction that is a allergic reaction and therefore these leukotrienes are also called as slow reacting substances of anaphylaxis abbreviated as srsa now these leukotrienes they induce inflammation apart from inducing inflammation they increase vascular leakage that is plasma from the blood vessels escape into the tissues they also cause bronchoconstriction they increase the production of mucus in the bronchial tract now since they cause bronchoconstriction and since they increase the production of mucus in the bronchial tract they precipitate allergic asthma and they produce 
difficulty in breathing. These leukotrienes, they play a very important role in the pathogenesis of allergic asthma. Now, these cystinyl leukotrienes, that is LTC4 and LTD4, they produce their action by binding to leukotriene 1 receptor. That means these leukotrienes, they bind to leukotriene 1 receptors and induce bronchoconstriction and induce increase in the synthesis of mucus that blocks the bronchial tract causing difficulty in breathing and are responsible uh, for the pathogenesis of allergic asthma. Now, drugs like uh, Monte Lucast, Zephyr Lucast, these are uh, leukotriene 1 receptor antagonist. Now, these drugs block leukotriene 1 receptors, thereby inhibiting the binding of uh, leukotriene C4 and leukotriene D4 to these receptors. Now, since these drugs inhibit binding of these leukotrienes to these receptors, these drugs inhibit bronchoconstriction, these drugs inhibit the secretion of mucus in the bronchial tract and therefore, these leukotriene 1 receptor antagonists namely Monte Lucast and Zephyr Lucast are found to be very useful in the management of asthma. Now, in addition to this glucocorticoids, they inhibit release of arachidonic acid from the membrane phospholipids. Now, glucocorticoids inhibit the enzyme phospholipase A2 and thus glucocorticoids reduce production of all eicosanoids, they reduce synthesis of prostaglandins, uh, they reduce synthesis of uh, thromboxane, they reduce synthesis of leukotrienes. Thus, glucocorticoids are the broad spectrum anti-inflammatory agents with wide range of biological effects. So, this is in brief on the introduction of uh, eicosanoids, namely prostaglandins, prostacycline, thromboxane A2 and leukotrienes. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.